Hey everyone, how's it going? Stephen Garner here, Team Most Awesome, Team Canada. And uh, we're going to look at a couple things today really quick. Uh, one of them being the Jet Surf Chargers, the actual handles and the magnets, and last but not least, uh, ECU. This is my personal ECU, it's a little bit different than yours. Uh, most everybody else, their ECU, one second there. Most everyone else, their ECU uh, has the the earth line or the ground line or whatever you want to call it that uh, gets hard attached to the engine. Um, that's on there. I have a quick connect, and then I also have I have this one right here that's for uh, my electric bilge. So you guys will have a, a long line that plugs right into the electric bilge, but um, because my because my bag is set up a little different and because of the way I travel and stuff, it didn't make sense to me to uh, to have that extra weight in the board. And then plus, if anyone gives me issues about there being a battery, I can actually carry it on the plane with me and like claim it and all that kind of good stuff. So that's why mine is a little bit different because I want to be able to take it in and out really easily. Okay, um, inside your ECU, there's a, a lipo cell battery that lipo cell works with a, a continuous loss ignition which is uh, the power source for your board so obviously it needs to be charged um your, your charger will look like this it's the jet surf charger normally you just uh plug it in and go let's let's start and see what it does so plug it in it says jet surf it's 3s is three cell because it's a three cell lipo um that lipo is a lithium polymer blend so or lithium polymer so um what you do is you take your your battery charger um the power port usually has this uh, end cap on it that's um it's just dead ended it doesn't go anywhere but it protects it so when everything else is hooked up in your board you can make sure that water doesn't touch your electrical and then this just plugs into here and it'll register it'll read it so I'm going to say uh, enter for 1.5 amp, 11.1 .1 volts. And then it's, uh, you're just supposed to hold it down. I just, I just clicked on it. But, um, and then it says it's reading uh, three cells and it wants to confirm that I want to charge these cells or whatever. So you say hold enter again to confirm. And then it'll say what it's pulling. Mine's pulling 1.5 volts at uh, 11.8, uh, sorry, 11.8 volts, 11.7 volts at uh, 1.5 amps. When you get your charger, it'll most likely be set up to three amp. The uh, the factory has ensured us all that um, three amp is a suitable uh, draw for charging. I just choose to charge mine at 1.5 uh, amp just so, um, there's a higher probability that the battery lasts longer. Uh, if you try to like charge them really, really fast, these lipo cell batteries um, will, will uh, wear out a little bit quicker. So I reduced mine to 1.5 amp to try to ensure that that wouldn't happen. So there we go. This is your, it's charging right now. 1.5 amp, it's pulling a full 1.5. So that means I'm more than, I have less than 80% or 85% charge in there. So I'll just charge that up a little bit and we'll talk about these. So attached here to your ECU is obviously an array of cables. You'll have ones like this giant one right here goes to your, your starter. It's really obvious, a big, thick black and red cable. It's just your power for your starter. Nice and simple. And then you'll have, uh, this is my ground line or my earth line and yours will have a I think it has a little yellow tip on it and a little spot where you can put a screw in. Then down here is uh, your mechanical bilge. Um, yours will be a continuously long line and it will plug right into the back of mechanical bilge. And off these last three, we have uh, the one for your handle here, this starter handle, which is this one right here. So that will just go like that. And then we have one here with the three prong that's uh, a female hole. It's uh, this one is for your RPM sensor. 
And then this, the last one right here is for um, your coil for your spark. So coil for your spark, throttle, or like the actual starting of the board, uh, RPM sensor. This one would go to, if you had a normal setup, what would go to your uh, mechanical or electrical bilge, starter, and then ground line, and obviously power in. On the side of it, you'll see this nice little uh, soft rubber area. This is so when it heats up from use, the air in, that's trapped inside this, because it is a waterproof vessel, um, it has a place to expand to. So this will actually like bubble out a little bit and then when it cools down, it goes back and it just allows for that air expansion room. And then you'll have your foam on it to prevent uh, noise in the board when it's, so it doesn't rattle around and such. Awesome. And then obviously on top is your little magnet sensor. When you want to turn off the board, you touch it where it says magnet and uh, it will turn over your engine without applying spark. And then uh, your, the ECU is, has turned itself off at that point. And you also use that when you're trying to get the water out of your engine and take out the spark plug and then lean your board on its side and put some gas into it and then uh, press on that magnet spot and it'll turn your engine over and help push out that water and pump that water out the, out the cylinder head. Okay, so last thing we're going to look at here. This is your, your throttle handle, your, your ignition, your start or whatever. So normally you put this in. It's a pretty tight fit because it's brand new. And then uh, as soon as you hear your electrical bilge, you pull this out and then your ECU is on at that point. And then when you put it in the second time, five seconds after you put it in or whatever, engine starts. And then as soon as you give it throttle and the RPMs exceed what the starter can put out, the ECU tells the starter to turn off. And then uh, obviously when you fall, this gets pulled out, tells the ECU to uh, stop applying spark and kills the engine. Um, I can't stress this enough. When you are traveling, do not leave this inside the handle because it will kill your ECU. It will fully discharge the battery and it'll make it so it is not possible to recharge it. It will, uh, it will quite early destroy it. So when you're traveling, especially like long trips or storing it for any kind of period of time or whatever, don't leave this in this handle. Uh, always take it out. Whenever you're storing the board, take this, put it in your little case separate from the handle and make sure that this is not left in the handle. That's pretty much all I got for you guys. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask, feel free to ask them, send me a message. And uh, I hope I helped today. Have a good one. Oh.